All right, so we want to be able to do more than one variable uh, when we pass things as well. It wouldn't make sense to have functions that only could ever move one variable. Turns out functions can move as many variables as they need to, um, although we want to keep the number relatively simple. Um, you know, 40 or 50 could get a little cumbersome, uh, but certainly one, two, three, five, ten, um, not completely out of the range. So here we have a function in this case, or a program in this case, we're going to create a program that asks our first and last name, then prints it out. Um, and we can see that we've been given some information already. We can see that uh, we've got our def main, our user input, and our print names function. So we can take a pretty good guess of what they're supposed to do. We can even see a little work's been done for us here. So um, in the interest of keeping things simple, Let's go ahead and copy and paste just a little bit of data. As you might imagine, in the user input function, we're just asking for two different values, right? Uh, we've done this a million times. So what's your first name? What's your last name? And we know that we're going to have to call that, right? So user input would call that function. Um, if we test it, it would ask us for the first and last name, and then they would disappear in the ether, right? This is where things get cool. We need to pass both of these names. Now, if you've looked at doing just one, you would know that you would start with something like return first name, right? And you would put that up here. You'd define it as, uh, you know, right? And that would get one. Well, the problem with that is we've got two. If I run this right now, I'm only going to get one. Right? And I'm also going to get an indent block error. Okay, that's because I didn't put any sort of uh, any sort of comment down here to make sure that it understood there was something going on. There are other tricks, but that's that's the best one. What is your first name? I'll give it my first name. It'll ask me for a last name. I'll give it some last name, and then you know I don't know what to do with it. So the problem here is that. I've got two values. So as you might imagine, I need to send both of them back. Now, user input gets called. It asks for first name, stores it in the variable called first name. Asks for last name, stores it in the variable called last name. Then it returns the first name and the last name. Now, right now, if it tries to return these two values, it's going to assign the first value, and then it's not going to know what to do. Right? Let me show you that error, because everybody gets this error. And uh, this way you'll remember what it looks like. All right? Okay. No error. Sorry. My bad. That's because <laughs> it's a long story. But so trying to send this first one and then only getting one back, if I were to print both of these, it would be a problem, right? If I print teacher first name because I really want you to see the kind of challenges you run into here. And uh, BBB, All right? I get this weird thing back. Um, you're gonna learn later that that's something very different. All right, and that's kind of a problem. So we obviously don't want that. What we want is to see the first name and the last name. So we actually have to accept a first name and a last name. So let's take a second one, teacher last name. Now when I print, can come down here and I can print teacher first name, teacher last name. And now what happens? Let me start this over. What's your first name? B. What's your last name? Bagby. B Bagby comes back, right? So you can see I'm passing, we're returning two values here. I'm catching two values here. People always get tripped up by this. They forget to have the same number of values. And remember, these are just values. They're not names, right? So first name always goes to the first place. Last name will always go to the second place. If I reverse them, they'll reverse up there as well. All right. Now that I know it works, I want to pass them down to print names to print them out. And as you might imagine, it works exactly the same way, only with a pass instead of a catch, right? So we're going to say print names. And I'm going to pass teacher first name, teacher last name. I'm going to catch them down here as name one and name two. And in this, I'm just going to say your name is name one, name two. Oops, got to fix that. 
sorry about that. Put a comma in there. Name one, name two. What is first name? B. Last name, Bagby. Your name is B. Bagby. So you can see very clearly it's going from main. Main is controlling everything just like it's supposed to. Main calls user input. User input gets the two names and returns them to main. Main takes those two names put, and gives them to print names. Passes them print names. Print names catches the two names and prints them out. There you go.